September of 1971, I was at Pajara Dunes. We had spent a week vacation there, and this was the last day, the full day that we were going to be there. And I, I was laying flat on my back at Pajara Dunes, looking, looking up this way. And when I did that, why I saw a bright, very bright light, intense light, and. Uh, I thought at first it was a, a huge Navy helicopter crossing the bay. Uh, I'd seen those before and uh, I, I thought surely that was it. And the sun had been over my back and, and so it was shining towards uh, what would have been the windscreen of the uh, airplane. But uh, after a while it became evident that no windscreen could produce the <laughs> reflections that I was beginning to see. And so uh, at this juncture, I ran and got a binocular and uh, took a sighting on it. And what I found was, we have here a model. Can you see that? The, the thing that I saw was a silvery vehicle that was long. Its diameter was maybe about one-thirteenth of its length. Um, it uh, had azure blue flames at each end, and it, it kept going through capabilities that it had. Um, what happened next was that two flames, rod-like flames shot out, indicated by these two uh, elements. And then between those two elements was a black rod kind of thing. And when it reached the end of where the flame-like pair were, a huge, intense light was formed, like, like an arc light. Now, you probably are wondering, what these are. First, let me tell you that underneath the nose there was flame-like characteristics plasma. too. I, I call that part a mustache for the, for the vehicle. Now, the streamers, there were pairs of streamers. One from each side would come up and coalesce together. And there were a number of these, and I've shown three here with the model. The uh, streamers uh, were pinched plasma, that is there's a ball of plasma that would come out. That plasma, there, there is um, uh, four states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and, and plasma. And that means that it's gas at high temperature. Um, so it would belch out a globule of plasma and then it would pinch down and then another globule would move up. And so these, these uh, globules would just move along here with a successive one being coming out from the, uh, the, the vehicle. Okay, so that was the case. The interesting thing about uh, these streamers were that they were uh, a sickening chartreuse, that is a yellow green. And um, that means that there was chlorine in that streamer, oh. and this would uh, be enough to upset uh, our ozone layer, is to get some of that ozone. chlorine there. That's that's an easy way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so um, I realized as the aft end was being uh, being uh, covered over with a cloud-like character, that I I best go and try to take a picture before I lost it. all of the. Uh, all the picture over its full length, and that I did, and I was successful in getting one picture that, it, while it's all clouded up from here to bottom in here, still you can tell that uh, there is a body in there, and you're going to see that. It took me a long while to figure that out, but because uh, it was so hard to, to get out of the uh, film that I had. Now, there is a, a quick pictorial of, uh, of this model uh, that I drew very soon after I got home. 
just a record of basically how it looked. It may not be exact proportion, but it does show the characteristics that is uh, that were there. And uh, those streamers look a little bit more um, chartreuse. Now, this element here, I, I wanted to draw it to your attention because a streamer looked more like that in being pitched plasma, it was more sinusoidal and, and more harmonious to the eye. Um, now, that drawing there for the body, uh, it rests in there. If this is the nose, then uh, as you see it, the aft end is farther behind the picture than the front end. So uh, you can't quite see the nose completely as an ellipse, but uh, those kinds of details are what tell you uh, how a body is, is viewed with respect to your eyesight. Okay. Now here is uh, my picture from our condo deck. Our, our deck was uh, like that deck, and I had my camera resting on on the rail, like like one of these rails. And I was shooting towards Santa Cruz, as you can see, and you can see that the everything is all clouded up here. Um, you see a dark spot, which uh, indicates something's there, and, and so on. Um, I don't know whether you can see the, the one here and the one down here, uh, but that's where the body is located. And then there's a, a projection from the body, which is labeled two. Now, this is a blow up, which makes it more clear that there was a body right in here. It is, this curve says that this thing is rounded. And, uh, here is a pond structure that's there. And, um, it, the body's labeled one between these two ones. And then, then there's a projection here. Yes? When you face the screen, we can't hear you because you're not speaking to the mic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> there is a projection from the sign here. And uh, that's level two. We'll you go to the rising phases around that thing. Three. And they're fairly substantial. And so you can get some indication of what's uh, making the clouding effect. Now, uh, there was in December, as I recall, uh, I made a sighting from my place at a high point uh, from Los Alamos Hills. Um, and this had been going on for some time, and I finally got off my duff and um, photographed this object. It had shown itself as a, as a multi-colored glimmering light, and I finally decided, hey, we've got to, got to, get to know more about that thing. And at the top here uh, is a streamer, and right in here is the end, and here is uh, some cloud-like structure, and here is the other end in here. And you can see it has some color to it, uh, and it's not just uh, just white, uh, but all of that twinkles. And um, so when you look up in the sky, if you see something that's intensely bright and uh, it twinkles different colors, and you see some streamers popping out, uh, like I showed you. Uh, and that's not an airplane because it shoots out these streamers in all directions, and so you can be you get more interest that way in what you're looking at and understand it. Now, uh, I want to know where this vehicle was. Geometrically, and okay, they've got the picture <laughs> tuned up here so that you can see that uh, we did a sighting from Los Alamos Hills, and I was down to Santa Cruz.